find the slot on the side of your hubcap, grab your pry tool, pop that cap off. Set the cap aside. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the lug nuts. Go ahead and remove your wheel. Set that aside. Using an 18 millimeter deep socket and a swivel with an extension, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this nut on this ball joint here. I'm gonna go ahead and re-thread that nut on just a few threads. And remove that socket. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and use our breaker bar to go ahead and loosen this bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and use a small pry bar to go ahead and move this a little bit. I'm going to strike this knuckle here to release that ball joint. Go ahead and remove that nut. Drop the unit down and pull it out. Then go ahead and put our control arm up and into place. I did clean up and put some anti-seize on that bolt. Line that up and get that started a few threads. Go ahead and grab your shock and you want to pull up, pull inward and push the control arm up. Once you get that through, go ahead and install the nut. So go ahead and get your nut started on the ball joint here. I'm going to go ahead and snug this down. Once that's snug, you want to go ahead and snug down the upper pivot bolt right here. Go ahead and torque the ball joint nut to 46 foot pounds. I'm going to torque the pivot bolt up here to 129 foot pounds. Go ahead and install your wheel. Go ahead and get all the lug nuts started by hand. I'm going to go ahead and snug these down. Torque your lug nuts to 98 foot pounds. Do this in a crisscross or star pattern. Once those are tight, go ahead and grab your center cap. Make sure that the ports open up or line up with your lug nuts. Give it a good bonk.